Today we're we're at our aunt's party, and it's an Indian party. So today we're going to talk about India. Namaskar. That means hi in Marathi. My name is Nisha, and I live in India. India is a country in Asia where more than one billion people live, including me. India is made of, up from, of 29 states. People in different states often speak different languages. This is because India is very big. It is the seventh largest country in the world. More than 700 languages are spoken in India. India is split into four main geographic regions. The north of India is part of the Himalayan mountain range. To the south is the Deccan Plateau, where has, which has many pilgrims. The region above the plateau is large and flat, and it's green for growing crops because many rivers run through it. This area has a lot of farms. The last region to the west is covered in deserts. India has many big bustling cities. One of the biggest is Mumbai. In Mumbai, you'll find Bollywood, where a lot of movies in India are. India makes the most movies in the world. Many, them, many of them are musicals. The biggest city in India is is our capital, New Delhi, which is a home to many beautiful temples and museums. You can find the the Lotus, the Lotus Temple. It's one of the most famous temples in. It is filled with blooming trees, big parks, and lakes. Kolkata has been home to many of India's great thinkers, artists, writers, and architects over the years. I live near Mumbai in a city called Pune with my mom, dad, and two sisters. I have one older sister and one younger sister. My dad is an airline pilot. He flies people to places all around the world. My mom works for a real estate, estate company. She helps people buy homes and apartments. Each morning, I wake up and get dressed. There are many different kinds of clothes in India, just like sari and the kurti. Courty. I wear saris to fancy events. Like a sari is a long cloak, cloak that you wrap around yourself. At home, I 
often wear shirts, but at school I wear a uniform. My older sister usually wears a kirti. A kirti is a long shirt that you wear with pants. After I get dressed, I have breakfast with my mom and sisters. I usually eat idli, idli which are rice cakes. cakes. I dip in idli, a veggie, vegetable, stool, corn, some bar. Time for school. I take an auto rickshaw to school. An auto rickshaw is a three-wheeled car. I live 10 minutes from school. The auto rickshaw picks up other students along the way. School starts really early at 7, 10 a.m. At my school, there are two shifts, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Different, different students attend each shift. We have two shifts because there are too many students to have in school at the same time. There are 56 students in my class. Each day, we study math, science, and history. Martha, which is the language of our state, and either art, music, or gym. No? Yeah. Our first subject is math. We are learning about six subtraction. After our math lesson, we practice reading in English and Martha. In the big cities in India, most students learn English. It's important to learn English because many medicine labels the news and signs in India are printed are printed in English. At ten o'clock, we stop for our snack break. Today we're having flatbread with sabzi. Sabzi is a dish made from cooked veg vegetables. Once we finish our snack, we start our history lesson. We are learning about when the British ruled India from 1855 to 1947. Britain wanted to control India because our country had valuable spices, rice, cotton, tea, and gems. India's resources made Britain very rich. The British built factories to make and factories and railroads all over India to make and move more goods. But many Indian people were unhappy. Britain made Indians, Indians work for a little money and fight in their wars. During food shortage in India, Britain did a little to help. At time passed, people wanted the British to leave. A man named Mohandas Das Gandhi say Gandhi began a movement to end British rule in 1990. 19, 19, 19. Gandhi 
told people to stop attending British schools and stop working for the British. Gandhi was in prison a few times, including once right here to but that didn't stop him. He told the people to make their own food, clothes, and other goods. This way, the British could make money from tax, tax on the good that that Indian people bought. It took many years, but Gandhi's ideas worked. In 1945, the British began talking to Gandhi about Gandhi and other leaders about Indian independence. And in 1947, Britain at last gave power back to the Indian people. After science and gym class, it's noon and school is over. I take the auto rickshaw home. I play cricket with my sisters and our friends. Cricket is a very popular sport in India. At 6 o'clock, I have my hobby class. Hobby classes are outside of school and you can learn all kinds of subjects. My sister, my big sister learns a traditional, a traditional Indian dance. My little sister learns piano. I get to learn speed roller skating. When we get home, my when we get home, my sisters and I discuss the Wali. The Wali is a Hindu festival celebrated for five days in October or November and marks the New Year in India. On my on the first day, we clean the house. We white clay lamps, which represented our inner light on the second day. On the third day, we eat yummy food and watch fireworks. We exchange gifts on the fourth day. On the fifth and on the fifth day, we have big meal with our uncles. Go. After we talk about Diwali, we eat dinner. Today, we're, tonight, we're having vegetable curry. Curry is a spicy sauce that you eat over rice. After dinner, our dad gets home from his latest trip. He brought my sisters and me souvenirs. My dad brings me back souvenirs from all his trips. I have things from China and Iceland and the United States too. One day, I want to visit all these places. Just like my dad, would you like to visit India someday? Thanks to my friend Chimay, who gave me all this jewelry and